Hello friends, my name is Dr. Ram Mohan Shri Pradbhat. I am a consultant nephrologist at Narayan Hridayalaya, Bangalore. Today, we are going to explain to you in brief about the process of peritoneal dialysis. In particular, about CAPD, that is Continuous Ambulatory Peritoneal Dialysis. This is a process where patients do their dialysis at home by themselves by manual exchange. There is another process of peritoneal dialysis called automated peritoneal dialysis or APD where we use a machine to do the exchanges for the patient. Here a person himself or herself will have to do the exchange, the fluid exchange daily multiple times and this process is called CAPD. Today we have with us Mrs. Laita Shivaraman who has been on peritoneal dialysis for almost a year or so and to help her do the peritoneal dialysis we've got Mr. Vamshi who is one of our able peritoneal dialysis nurse educators. We have set up the system already usually it takes about five minutes for us to clean the table surface and set up everything before we start the process. So if we can focus on to the session now we can see that on the table we've got a bag with two liters of peritoneal dialysis fluid we've got some sterilium gel we've got a cap and some clips at the bottom we've got some sterile swabs in a sterilized container the patient is sitting ready for the exchange some patients like to have it done in a lying down position some people like to have it done in sitting position Many of our patients do the exchange themselves. They keep everything ready. They sit down and they're able to do the exchange themselves. But here we've got somebody to help us do the peritoneal dialysis. I would request Vamshi to start the process while I talk about it. Peritoneal dialysis catheter. We are going to show this in a cartoon in the picture as well. A catheter coming out from the tummy. The inner bit of the catheter goes inside a cavity inside the abdomen called the peritoneal cavity and the outside part is what we are seeing here. Vamshi is connecting the outer bit of the catheter to the bag. The bag has got two parts. One is a fluid filled bag. The other one is an empty bag. The first exchange what we do in the morning, the patient might not be having any fluid inside the abdomen. So we don't have to drain anything. Subsequent exchanges, patient already has some fluid in the abdomen. So we are going to drain that first and then fill the new fluid. So Mr. Vamshi is going to drain the fluid first. The most important thing in peritoneal dialysis is attention to cleanliness, attention to detail. This is a very simple process. There's no rocket science involved in this. We have to make sure that we don't breach asepsis and give importance to the simple steps which safeguard the cleanliness you can see that the fluid is flowing from the abdominal cavity, the peritoneal cavity, into the bag. So Vamshi is just breaking the seal and then he's going to flush the, the Y extension set first before he'll open the valve again. to fill the fluid which is there in the bag into the abdomen. So at all times you can see that Vamshi and the patient they are wearing a mask so that when they talk small particles of saliva with possible infection will not fall on the catheter where the catheter gets connected to the PD bag. In my previous videos, I have talked to you 
in brief about the various options of dialysis. There are two types of dialysis. One is hemodialysis, the other one is peritoneal dialysis. Dialysis just means cleaning process. Hemodialysis means cleaning the blood. Hemo means blood. Hemodialysis is usually a therapy which is done in hospitals. Patients come to hospital up to three times a week and we clean their blood through a machine and send it back. So this is the simple process of peritoneal dialysis. So in about another five minutes time, the fluid will be inside. Vamshi is going to remove the bag put a cap on the catheter and the patient will roll the catheter into a small pocket that she always wears. And she is free to walk around, do all the work at home or even go out for shopping. So this gives patients a lot of freedom to continue dialysis at home and they don't have to waste time in hospital coming for dialysis every other day. We will hear from Mrs. Shivraman a bit later about how she is feeling as well. I hope you've understood the basic principle of peritoneal dialysis. I might want to talk a bit more about peritoneal dialysis in another video. Thank you very much.